A frigid night for thousands of homes in Boulder County. Equipment problems at XL knocking out gas service, leaving many without heat. Mark Stewart's live tonight. Mark adding insult to injury. The power also went out tonight for thousands without gas. Hey, Teresa, let me run down with what we are exactly dealing with now at 10 o'clock. You can see some of the power is back on here in the Powderhorn subdivision. But at one point tonight, as many as 4,000 Excel customers were without electricity. That's in addition to 7,000 customers who have not had gas since early this morning. Gas service should be restored sometime tomorrow, but it's very little comfort on one of the coldest nights of the year. The truck uh, is due any minute. Shopping for survival in the midst of a cold snap. Well, there's about 8,000 houses uh, with no heat. More than a thousand portable heaters sold today alone at McGuckin's Hardware in Boulder. And everybody wants at least, you know, one or two or three. Extra units trucked in after a problem with the gas lines nearby. Our stories everywhere here. Hillary Boslett is going back to the basics to stay warm. She's one of the 7,200 customers waiting for her gas service to be restored. And I'm so glad that I have a a fire that is a fireplace that I can keep warm. The thermostat in her home said 53 degrees just hours ago. Tonight, that's likely to drop, and her newly purchased heater isn't for her. Instead, it's strategically located so her pipes don't freeze. I have the heater on, I've got the water dripping in the kitchen and the bathroom. Teams from Excel are now going home to home to restart pilot lights, a task that can be dangerous. Please do not do it yourself. A rush for warmth as the cold clobbers Colorado. Everybody gets a heater. We wanted to know if the power outages are because so many people are using portable heaters to stay warm. At this point, these appear to be two separate issues. For now, the gas outage and the power outage appear to be unrelated. We are live in Boulder County tonight. Mark Stewart, 7 News.